Watercolour paintings are brought alive by the contrast between light and dark areas. The lightest areas where the sun or other light sources lifted out the colour, sometimes even bleaching it out, are called highlights. I'm going to show you some ways to create those in your watercolour painting. There! White, all revealed. And now we can go in with some details on the flowers. I'm going to use cobalt blue for the shadows within those petals. Look carefully at these little flowers. Their centres are dark. Or maybe I don't want it quite that blue. Let's just dub that back a bit. There's little flowers one behind the other. Don't try to be sort of discriminate rather than indiscriminate, but don't get trapped into trying to make every one of those masking fluid blobs work for a flower. Always keep your eye on the general layout of them all. If you half close your eyes, it really helps actually. It stops you getting too particular, but it stops you also being too indiscriminate. Now this lovely big blob here I left because there was a whole group of flowers, one beside the other. And the bottom half of this flower is darker than the top half. So these ones at the bottom, they lose a lot of the whiteness. The, the light shining through behind them, but they're not as bright as the tops. It's a kind of a bluey grey, but I always find that greys kill off flowers, so I tend to choose to go for a colour. You can always grey a colour down, but you can't brighten it up. Let's look at these daffodils. Very often the flowers are lighter than the background. These daffodils are yellow. The background is a dark green. Blue and yellow make green, so we can use the yellow of the daffodils under the background colour. And this underwash unites the whole painting from the start. I've used cadmium yellow to paint in the daffodils, including the background all behind them, just leaving out little flecks of white paper for the highlights on the petals. And now I'm going to actually draw the daffodils with the background. Using Prussian blue, I've got a light pencil sketch under here that just gives me a guide. The background is quite a bit darker than all the daffodils. I'm not trying to fill it in like wallpaper. I can leave little flecks of, of light, little flecks of the yellow. And where the trees are soft up above, I can add some water and spread the colour. The leaves of the daffodils are quite bluey. So I'm going to use this colour around all the background and this is going to be basically the leaf colour of the daffodils because the background behind them is actually even darker than this blue. You can build your painting up in layers of the colour. You see how just drawing them around already the daffodils are beginning to sing out from the background. 